people are obsessed with mushrooms right now in the wellness space. But going back thousands of years, mushrooms have been used in a medicinal way within ancient China, within Chinese herbal formulas. Now today, I thought we'd talk about one which is called fooling. Hey guys, Dr. Alex Hine, Doctor of Acupuncture and Chinese Medicine. Now before we jump into this video, there are two very important links right below. The first is if you'd like to become a patient of mine locally in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine, you can reach out to my private practice and clinic right below this video. And the second is for a free download, which is four daily rituals that could potentially help you add years to your life with Chinese medicine. Now, one of our oldest books on herbs is called The Divine Farmer's Classic of Materia Medica, the Shen Nong Ben Sao Jing. It talks about the abilities and the uses of some medicinal herbs, stones, plants, animal parts, etc. Now, in the entry for fooling, it says, Fooling treats counterflow qi in the chest and the rib sides, worry and rage, fear palpitations, binding and pain below the heart, cold and heat, vexation and fullness, cough with counterflow. It stops parched mouth and dry tongue and it disinhibits urine. Taken for a long time, it calms the hun and poa souls or spirits, nurtures the spirit and staves off hunger, extending the years. Now, that is a one part clinical observation of its uses as well as a little bit mystical, but practically there are a few uses of fooling day to day in the clinic. Now, day to day, when it comes to using fooling, which often one of the ways it comes is in these rolled little, almost little cigar tube looking ways. Sometimes it call, comes in fooling kwai, which are these little squares like this, cubed. And sometimes it also comes in these little sheets. So the fooling is very interesting. It's a commensal fungus that grows at the base of a certain kind of pine tree in China. It's very interesting, there's a video on a fooling farmer and the way he harvests and finds the fooling he was poking at the base of these pine trees that he knows is one of the species that has a commensal or a relationship with the plant and with the fungus. And he would stab basically below the pine tree where the fooling ball might grow. And if the tip of his little spear came up white, he knew that there was possibly fooling there. So then he would dig, harvest this ball, and then prepare it or slice it. But day to day, when we talk about fooling, the two main uses I would say we use it in are Anxiety, bloating, and urinary issues. Now, when it comes to discussing an iconic formula with fooling, there's a modern formula that I don't use, but is quite famous, called Sujunzitang, which is four gentlemen decoction. This formula is comprised of just four herbs, ranchen, which is ginseng, baiju, atractolodes, which looks like this, fooling, which we just discussed, and dragansao, which is honey fried licorice. Now, so Junzatang is a formula that is a base of what we call the treatment of spleen chi deficiency. Spleen chi deficiency basically as a pattern tends to be someone who has an issue with digestion, bloating, abdominal fullness, loose stools. They can often sometimes have palpitations, anxiety sometimes goes with it, sometimes urinary issues go with it. But in general, this formula is famous for regulating the digestive function of really what Chinese medicine calls the spleen. Day to day, most people probably think of this as a formula for bloating or appetite or someone with a lower appetite that's prone to indigestion and prone to abdominal fullness. In that formula, there's a power couple combo, baiju and fuling, that you find in lots of different formulas famous for thousands of years throughout Chinese medicine. Now, the combination of these, baiju for damp and fuling, to drain some fluids is very, very commonly used. So for example, we say that one kind of low appetite is due to underfunctioning of the spleen with dampness. So just a little Chinese medicine physiology lesson, we say the pathological factor of the spleen is basically dampness. In layman's terms, bloating, abdominal fullness, a lot of mucus or saliva, that kind of thing. The baiju and the fooling help with the processing of the water the baiju is a bitter herb that also will help move things downward. So sometimes people who get indigestion a lot are basically the deficient spleen type who just have weak digestive function in general. That's different from people who have good strong digestion but just eat a lot of food or eat the wrong food. But in this case, baiju helps expel some of this dampness through the stool, fooling through the urination. Now in the same vein, because all of these herbs have multiple functions and even these formulas have a formula pattern. So one formula can treat five or six or sometimes 10 symptoms. And very often when it's diagnosed properly, 
one formula, let's say a formula that moves damp in the digestive system, what it will do is people who have brain fog or a constant pressure in the head can be due to dampness. Stuffy noses, runny noses can be due to dampness. Bloating and abdominal fullness can be due to dampness. Frequent urination can be due to cold. There are myriad symptoms that can improve just from taking one formula, like one with baiju and fooling. And these are some of the most commonly used herbs for modern people, especially because of how many people have GI problems and how many people have anxiety. So in the same vein, fooling's also used for anxiety, interestingly enough. And it's no surprise that many people that come in have both a lot of GI symptoms and food sensitivities and clinical anxiety. That's no surprise within my field. They very commonly go together. So that is a little bit behind fooling, its uses, the history of it, an iconic formula where we often use fooling. But otherwise, very interesting herb and very, very commonly used day to day in the clinic. That's what I have for you today, guys. Before you go, check out those links right below the video. Become a patient locally or get that free download and I'll see you guys soon.